Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I'm going to be filming my first ever um, put photo cards away with me. Hopefully the glare's not too bad. I shipped it around the room. Um, I saved up, I believe, a pretty decent pile. Um, I also did some rearranging of binders. I got some new binders. You guys will see that um, my setup is a bit different from what it was in my last um, photo card collection tour. So without further ado, we're going to start off with my joy binder because I'm really, really excited for the things that I got for joy. So this is all the stuff I have for joy. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I'm so excited. So here we go. Um, we'll look at her sections. There are some stuff that I put away um, already from a while back. Okay, so first card we're going to be putting away is the one I'm most excited for. Um, so this card, this is her Perfect Velvet and Red Summer Lenticular, also known as the Red Mare Concert Lenticular from Seoul. I'm so excited I finally got it. It is a magnet, so it is a bit heavier, but like, oh my god, it's one of the holy grails in my collection. I never thought I was going to get it, and now it's here. And it's beautiful, and I'm so happy that I have it. All right, so let's keep going. What else do I have? What else do I have to put away? All right. Okay. So let's keep going. Joy's section is always, like, my top priority in doing it. It's why she has her own binder. I need to fix this. This trade never came in, so I'm assuming it really did just get lost in the mail from Germany. So, Okay. So we actually got this also as a gift from the seller who sold me the lenticular. It is her S4, one of her S4 cards. And I also, so in the season's greetings, they came with these little memo sheets. I realized that if you put them behind the transparent cards, they're actually the same size as a card. So it actually works out really well. And then, what else do I have? Okay. So I have all of these Seasons Greetings cards to put away. This is the pre-order card. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, so I do um, sleeve my cards in penny sleeves. And how I do it is I know usually people would put them in where the top of it is like this. And then you would put them in like this so that the top is sticking out, but I don't do that. What I do is I sleeve them. Please don't. Okay. So I sleeve them like this so that the open side is down when I put it into the binder so that dust doesn't get in. Um, I did pre-sleeve a lot of these just because I figured it would save me some time on camera and then you guys don't want to really have to deal with me fumbling around with everything. And then we have... The card that I literally just pulled. <laughs> Funny thing I say that as I run out of penny sleeves. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad because there are a lot more shadows here. So for now, I didn't label anything. Oh my goodness. Okay. So for now, I'll move this placeholder, shift this down a little bit closer to me, and put this here because it is my favorite card from this so far from this era so i'm so happy that i pulled that and here's an extra sleeve in her section i always have extra stuff for joy then i think i already put in sleeves for this era and the season's greetings they should be in the very very back yes i did okay awesome so we will put her finale postcard in First, I think I want it here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the envelope. I don't think I want it in, so I might end up just storing it in the front of the binder for now. And then we have her season's greetings, and I decided to put the group cards on the back of this. I normally don't do that, but this is what I decided. So I think this pair is going to go first and then we'll do this pair 
Yeah, I like that. Okay. So that is everything for Joy's binder. I was going to save her binder for last because I had um, the lenticular card, but just couldn't help myself. It's so pretty. I'm so excited that I got it. I thought I never was going to get any of her lenticular cards at all because they're so hard to find. So that was Joy's binder. And then we're going into the girl group binder which is lilac and um let me just tell you i have a lot of cards for this binder so this is the little stack for this binder we're going to start and here is everglow section so you'll notice for the girls i did start making um dividers but i didn't get to finish and I did make the decision that I'm going to collect all six members of Everglow because I have a death wish. Okay, so here are the Everglow section cards. These cards um, are all broadcast cards. Everglow is the only group that I decided to collect broadcast cards for. And I organized this section in order of my bias. Please get in. I think you. So Shion is my alt bias in the group, followed by Onda, and then the other girls. Did I want this one or did I want which card did I want? I think I want this one here. Oh, and um, some of the cards. Oh, that also has a gold back. Have a gold back or a silver back. There were for three versions for each member of broadcast cards for this era, and I just chose the one I liked the most. I think I had a pattern somewhere. Yes, I did. Here we go. I had an idea of a pattern. Oops, let me scooch that up for you. Okay. Then Mia's. Which one of Mia's did I want? Where? I think I wanted this one here. This is just going to be a lot of me talking and staring at the cards. But um, I saw a lot of people that I follow doing this, and I decided that I wanted to do it. Uh -oh. So one issue you might run into with how I do sleeve my cards, because um, I like to see the backs of my cards, is sometimes the cards will slip down, and you have to push the air out um, further than the sleeve. There we go. All right, that's fixed. EU, which I think I was going with a pattern of two silver and then one gold in the middle. This is EU's gold broadcast card. Then Yerins, which I only have one of hers. It's there. And then let's go to the next page. So here are the three group cards from Hush. And the main reason why I have two sets of broadcast cards for Everglow from Hush is because I had just enough spaces to fill up for this era um, just in time for them to announce their comeback with their first <laughs> mini album. Um, so I am going to have to really put some serious work into my Everglow section and then I also have to try to find some bonbon chocolate cards which I feel like for broadcast is not going to be easy and I have to still get one of Yiren's cards and then my next two cards to put away are Sana so we'll get to Sana section oh here's Jiwoo you'll notice a lot of these sections okay so here's Sana's um so I need to go to what is love and fancy what is love okay this is my placeholder for that one. So here we go. <laughs> so many cards, a so little time. All right, so that one is in. And then the next one is fancy, which should be one right here. Nice. So um, I did decide to collect Sana. And um, her section is basically just going to grow really slowly. Um, I'm going to mainly focus on trading for her stuff. Not really buying. Um, unless I really, really, really want that specific card. Then I'll buy it. 
might have to rethink how I set this up for future videos. Okay, so that was everything for the girl groups. And then we'll go into the boy group binder. So like I said, you will realize um, I never did the placeholders for the boy groups yet. Um, eventually I'll get there. But I did decorate the cover with BTS and Stray Kids. So um, this is all the Stray Kids extras that I got. And here we go. So these are... So much Stray Kids, and then one Taehung. So we'll start with Taehung's section real quick. Which is right here. Um, I also really need to put in some work to Taehung's section. I haven't in a hot minute. Um, I can just take this out. Put his coupon card here for the game. Oh. This card took me forever to get a trade for. And then let's get to Stray Kids section. So here's Jisung's section. So let me get all of Jisung's cards. John, 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 and the rest of these should all just be Jisung. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, did I go back? No, okay. Here we go, this is his new page. So then this is a Polaroid that I pulled for him from their um, first official um, photo book, Stray Kids in London. I do have his other um, card on the way from that. And then here's his lenticular. So I want his lenticular first. Uh -oh. His lenticular is a bit thick. So it slides. I don't know who calls every time I do an unboxing or a video, but it's starting to get really annoying. So I think I want to put his name card. And then the silver border. So I pulled um, Jisung's whole set, which you could see um, in my unboxing. So I was really excited. So I just have to focus on trading stuff for Chan set. Which is a little bit frustrating because he's one of the most in-demand members. And every time I go to trade for something for him, it's like I don't have what people want. So it's a bit difficult. But I'm hoping that I can find some trades so that I can have Chan section. Speaking of Chan, let's go to his section now. So here it is. It's very empty. Um, I did just get his MMT card. We can pull this out of the way because I have his Polaroid. I did a, uh, no, I actually bought this because it was for a really good price. Um, the girl I bought it from had two, so I decided just to grab it before I ran out of it. She ran out of it, and then here is his photo card from the book. All right, let's pull this out. Um, for now, I'll just stick this here and this one here. Oh, so that's why I have that in there as a placeholder. Eventually when I get it, oh, that's Jisung, hold on. All right, I'll put this in here for now. Until I, um, oh, you guys can't see that. Shoot, sorry. Um, until I get his lenticular, then I have to add another sheet. Oh, remember the card? I don't know, depending if you watched, that I was so smart and ordered to put here. Yeah, it's way too big. So, I didn't, oops. <laughs> I have to find another card to go there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to figure that out. Um... Okay. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that was going to take me a little while. But here we go. So that was my first um, put photo cards away with me video. I'm going to do them more often. So I'm probably only going to do an end of the year um, photo card collection haul or like halfway through the year if you guys want to see that, like how it's coming along. So um, yeah. 
yeah, I'm actually kind of happy that I finished that. I didn't think it was going to. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.